Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to St. John Church Harper Sunday School. I hope your week was great. Look, I have been given this watch as a present, but unfortunately, if I don't have a code, I can't use this watch. I can't see the time. I can't use whatever this watch can offer as uh, entertainment and anything. Maybe it's time for me to call my friend. Yes. Okay. Is yes okay oh thank you so much and i'm very pleased with my present thank you have a wonderful day and see you soon bye thank you bye so now i have the combination to open this wash so let's start yay now i can use my wash and i'm very happy about that and this reminds me of our bible story today of the father the son and the holy spirit amen our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our Bible story today is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, from verse 24 to verse 37. And our storyteller today is Joshua. Over to you, Joshua, and thank you. From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there, yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter, he said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take a children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs are under the table to eat children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that you may go, the demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went back by way of Sidon, towards the Sea of Galilee. In the region of Decapolis, they brought to him a dead man who had an impediment in his speech, and they began to lay, his, lay hands on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowds, and put his fingers into his ears. He spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to them, Ephrata, this is, be opened, and immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered him to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealous they proclaimed it. And they were astounded beyond measure, saying, he has done everything well, he even makes a deaf hear and the mute to speak. That was fantastic, Joshua. Thank you. Now, what can we take? From our Bible story. So by this story, we learn that God's love has no boundaries. God loves us equally and wants us to love each other too, even above our traditions and self-made rules. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So the woman who approaches Jesus she was a Gentile and she showed great faith. And because of that, Jesus healed her daughter. Our second character, who is a deaf man from Decapolis, is also an outsider, a Gentile, non-Jew. And he's cut off from the world by his inability to hear and communicate with others. This time, Jesus did not 
hesitate to respond to a desperate request. In our story today, we see that the healing, the blessings, and the love of Jesus Christ are open to everybody who is willing to receive them. Some of you are back to school next week and others have already started this week. And this is an opportunity for you to be inclusive, just like Jesus, to have open hands and welcome our new classmates, our new teacher, or the new administration team and help them feel at home by being kind, compassionate, and loving. Show them where things are at school and hang around with them during the break. Get to know them and help them. God loves you. God loves you. Whether you are an outsider, you are insider, God loves you. Merciful God, your son came to save us and bore our sins on the cross. May we trust in your mercy and know your love, rejoicing in the righteousness that is ours through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for listening. It was a pleasure to have you. We wish you a fantastic welcome back to school and a wonderful school year. God bless you. Bye-bye.